What's going on guys? Welcome to another episode of Mods to Rides. Today we're finally gonna go pick up the powder coated wheels. And I'm also gonna take you guys to another uh, place, another powder coat shop so I can show you guys the process of how they do the powder coating process. Very uh, interesting. And I know you guys are gonna like it a lot. So I'm gonna take you guys right now. I just gotta go pick up a truck so I could go pick up the wheels and then I'll take you guys over to the powder coat shop we just picked up the wheels man look at how nice they look in the sun very similar to the paint that I had before guys welcome back we're here at El Paso Tool and Die. They do stamp coating. As you can see, we're here with my friend Eric Rodriguez. Howdy. And as you can see over there, they do a lot of stamp work and they make these, um, I guess, electrical boxes. But today we're gonna focus more on their powder coating operation. As you can see, it's very big. Eric runs three warehouses and it's pretty crazy. So Eric, where do we start? Well, basically what we do is, uh, as you can see, we start hanging parts first. What it does is we hang parts and they go through a 6 stage washing system, which is over here. And it removes all the dust, oils. From there, what we do is we go, as it chain goes, it goes through a drying process, which I can see. Right in the middle, we have a the oven which dries and cures apart. So what we do is, as it gets out of the washing system, we go through the drying process. So all this right here is the oven. First and second entrance right here is the drying. So what we do is, it dries, walks through the back, of course, everything has a timing. Then what we do is, we walk through the booth, and then we start painting. So this isn't regular paint? It's not like wet paint, is it? No, it's not wet paint. It's actual it's, powder. That's it's actual powder, powder, correct. And uh, what it does is, it's a, uh, you can see the guns right now, it sticks, the powder sticks to the metal. And, and how does it do that? It's uh, based on electricity. So it, it sticks on electrostatic. Okay. So we have to ground everything. The guns, of course, make it, you know, stick. So, to, uh, so if I touch this cable, I'll get shocked? No, you won't. No, it's just grounding. Oh, okay. Of course, the gun doesn't work. That's why. Yeah, so yeah. It's based on the gun, and then it has to be grounded. Okay. And then I see that you guys also have some filters to, so the, I guess so the powder doesn't come this way? Correct. That's a recollection of the powder. So what it is, it's uh, all the scrap that's based there, goes there. We try to reclaim a few pounds of it. Okay. So. so how much do you guys, well, I guess it all depends on the color, how much you guys spray and reclaim, right? That is correct. Now there's a, another hopper which, Back there, you'll see, but there's nobody over there. Yeah. That uh, we use different colors. Okay. So, so this that is- one, That one, we don't reclaim anything. Okay. So this one is just for dedicated for one color? That is correct, yes. And that's that's where we can reclaim this, some yeah. paint. So then going back, what we do is, it cures the paint here. It's a cycle box roughly 30 minutes and then it cures all the paint okay so how long does the whole process take from start to finish the whole process it's, it takes about an hour 20 to an hour 30. an hour oh wow so so this is so it, this isn't cured right no it's not cured so then it's, once it goes in the oven what happens to the powder you bake it you bake it at a uh, Roughly from 390 to 430 degrees. Okay. Of course, it depends on the thickness of the steel. Okay. And uh, that's it. You, 
what does it stay like? What happens to the powder as it bakes? It, it cures and makes it hard. Yeah. And it sticks to the steel to where you can do a uh, MBK test. Uh, you can uh, bend it and it, it will stick to the steel. Okay. So what we do is uh, we drop uh, some balls into it. We do a plenty of tests okay. to see if, uh, how durable the paint will be. So this isn't primer, this is already the paint? That is a paint. Yeah. Okay. Awesome, man. So what are the, how does the finished product look afterwards? This is a finished product? Yes, it is. So you can hit this and nothing will happen to it? Correct. Wow. So these are some of the tests we do. Okay. So you guys, after it was painted, Correct. you guys we, bent we get it? This, we get this to make sure it don't crack. And you guys can you guys can powder coat any colors? Yes. This is color. white, right? Yeah, correct. This is a white one. So you pick and choose. So you guys can essentially powder coat any color that the client wants? Yes. Anything. So if any subscriber wanted to send in let's say some wheels or a bumper or anything, you guys can do all that stuff? Yes. Everything. Yeah? Any color available, we can get it done. Okay. And if the if the client wants a custom color, can we do that or? Yes, any color we can get custom made. Uh, basically, whatever the customer wants. Yeah. So basically, if you go, I guess I'll link the website where you guys can look at the different powders, and that's essentially the paint, right? Yes. Because it cures, it turns like into water now, and then it sticks. Yeah. And then that's it. It's once it's cured, that's once it's cured, you we have to uh, either burn it to get it or. Uh, Sandblasted, okay. Yeah, that's why I had a hard time on my wheels because they were like super. I had automotive, I had powder coat, I had everything on there. But uh, what about those, like those other parts over there? Like, well, those are some of the things that we manufacture here. Uh, again, we do a uh, metal stamping, powder coating, and fabrication. Yeah, and then these these yellow parts are for another company, right? These. Yes.
I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a little bit loud, but thank you guys. Guys, in closing, I want to give a big shout out to EP Text Coatings and El Paso Tool and Die and Stamp Coat for allowing us to look at their warehouse, look at their operations, their facility. It was pretty awesome. Um, EP Text Coatings for powder coating on the wheels. We weren't able to film there because of uh, scheduling conflicts. So there, at, I'm gonna put both of their links uh, or their contact information in the description. So EP Text Coatings, uh, Arian, I don't know if he really does spray as much as how he used to when he first started his business, but um, he, ba he basically builds the the ovens the spray booths and all that stuff for businesses that kind of want to get started in that so if you guys are interested make sure you give them a, a call but um el paso um el paso tool and die uh and stamp coat they did give me prices for powder coating some wheels so if you guys want to powder coat a set of four wheels but in a basic color for example something that they have in stock like a gloss black a flat black a wrinkle or a crinkle finish or a white it's about 200 dollars per set of four wheels okay but however you guys have to send in the wheels bare metal i don't know if we mentioned it in the in the tour uh the electrostatic process when the powder sticks it has to be metal because current flows through there like we mentioned but if it's not metal with time it's gonna break off and it's not gonna it's not gonna stick on there so it has to be the bare finished metal and um that's how you guys send it in 200 bucks now if you guys want a custom color like what i chose it's about 200 dollars plus the powder for the size of wheels that i have 20s are pretty wide it's about five pounds of powder for those wheels so Either you guys buy the powder and send it in and he'll charge you 200 or 200 plus the powder. So all in all, it's a very affordable price for a powder coating. It leaves the finish amazing. I'm very satisfied with my finish. It's awesome. Like I said, shout out to those guys. I'm very appreciative. If you guys like this content that I've been putting out, please consider subscribing. Please share it with your friends, family. Thank you guys. Peace. I'm out.